Hello everybody and welcome back to The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. In this episode, instead of doing the main quest, we're actually going to do some side quests. Now these are the first two side quests in the game and there is a time limit to these side quests but they don't exactly tell you when but we're going to do them as and when they're appropriate. So the, for the first one, you want to talk to this little kid here. This is really weird. Where could it have gone? Oh, excuse me, but can I ask you for something? You didn't see a shiny rock around here anywhere, did you? Huh? A shiny rock? Yeah, that's right, one that sparkles. You didn't see a rock like that lying around anywhere, did you? Are you saying you lost something? Um, I don't recall seeing anything like that. Do you know where you might have dropped it? My mom was calling for me. Mom. Uh, it's very weird saying mom. Uh, when you're British. So, my mum was calling for me, so I ran over to the general goods store to see where she was. I know I had it in my hand at the time, but when I came back here, it was gone. When you say general goods store, you mean Mr. Rinnan's store, right? Did you look at, Did you look in the front of his store? Obviously, that's the first place I looked, you idiot. You don't need to treat me like a kid, you know. My, aren't you a charmer? Well, I already asked the Brace Guild to help find it, so I'm sure it will so show up sooner or later. If you do happen to come across it, give me a holler straight away. I'll probably be around. He will be in exactly the same place because he is an NPC. So the first thing you want to do is head round here. And you want to check. He told you he last saw it in front of the general goods store. So if you check here. Huh? What's the matter? I wonder what that is. There's something shining down there through the sewer gate. You're right. It looks like something must have fallen through. The sewers? Don't tell me you forgot about the sewers already. You know, that smelly monster infested place we were in not that long ago. Oh, right, those sewers. We went there during our practical training, right? In episode two? The entrance to the sewers should be just behind the chapel. If you're so interested in what's down there, then how about we check it out a little later? Sure, let's do that. And so you want to go to the sewers, and the sewers uh, are behind the Sepsian Church, which you can see is purple in the southeast corner of the city of Roland. So you want to go down here and round, and this is the um, manhole into the sewers, as you can see. Cool. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to clear all the monsters here and then meet you back here. Okay, and we also leveled up to level 5, and we got two monster holes, monster bone. So, I've cleared out all the enemies, as you can see, there's no enemies, I'm going to ignore that dirty rat, really. Um, but, basically, if you remember when we did the training, the treasure was in that chest there that you can see. Where you want to go is actually here, so you don't actually want to cross that bridge when you get to it. Uh, you get a quartz fragment. Hmm, I see now. The thing we saw shining through the sewer gate was this. Seems like it. A quartz fragment, huh? Now we know why it was shining so much. The way it sparkles is so beautiful. This is made up of septium too, right? Loosely speaking, yes. But let's talk about it later. This isn't really the place to have a leisurely chat. I guess you're right. There's only one monster cluster left though. No normal person would want to stay here any longer than they had to because it stinks. It's a sewer. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to meet you back where Charles was. I'm going to heal up before that. In fact, no, I don't need to because I leveled up. So I'll meet you back where Charles was. Okay, we're back and here's Charles. Hey, is that rock? Could it be? Uh, could it be that this is the rock you've been looking for? Handed over the quartz fragment. Yep, this is the one, my shiny rock. Why is it all dirty like this? Because it was in a sewer. Hey, don't you have something else to say before you complain? You guys are bracers, right? I've already paid your money to the guild. Therefore, I think I have the right to complain. That's not the problem here. Calm down, Estelle. He's just a kid. I know that, but... This quartz is what you were looking for, right? Yeah, that's the one. This rock is really quartz. You mean the same kind of quartz that's in an orbman? Yeah, 
Uh, yep, it's the same kind of quartz made, quartz made of sepith. It's chipped, so it doesn't function anymore. I see. So this rock belonged to an ornament. Probably the broken clock right in front of you. What's wrong? You seem a bit out of it. Who, me? Oh, it's nothing. Anyway, I'm glad you found it. I guess that's about it then. Oh, that reminds me. I almost forgot. Here, take these. And you receive five draw meatballs, another food that you can learn the recipe of. My mu my mum gave me gave <laughs> my mum gives these to me and tells me they're healthy, but they're kind of bitter, so I can't stand them. Anyway, I appreciate what you did for me today. Seriously, what a cheeky little kid. I'm sure it's a difficult age for him, you know, six or seven or however old, however old he is. But I wonder why he was searching for that quartz. What do, what do you mean? Now that you mention it, it does seem a little strange. But oh well, everyone has something they think is important. Truer words couldn't be spoken. Perhaps that kid has an interest in orphans. I, for one, don't see what's so interesting about those overly complex gadgets, you know, apart from the fact that our battle augments are augments and they're kind of really useful. My brain just goes numb thinking about them. Except for the fact that you'll have to get used to them sooner or later. You won't be able to fulfill your job as a bracer if you can't use one. Alright, alright, I'll try and learn. Quest to find the shiny rock completed. And you can now, you've completed it, hand it into the Bracer Guild, like so. So we'll go to the Bracer Guild, talk to Ina. But before we do that, we obviously have to progress the story. Oh, good morning, Estelle and Joshua. Has your father already left? Yep, just barely. That's why we came here to find out about the jobs he left for us. Sure, there are a total of three jobs I've lined up for you. For the first one, I'd like you to head out to the farm west of here. The farm west of here? Isn't that where Tio lives? Tio? I seem to have heard that name somewhere before. Tio Purzel. She was one of our classmates at Sunday school. She's also the Purzel farm owner's daughter. Oh, really? It's actually the Purzel farm that put in a request to have someone exterminate some monsters. Are they really having problems like that? Fortunately, nobody has been hurt, but the owner and his family are upset over their fields being destroyed by the creatures. Therefore, the guild received an extermination request. I never would have expected something like that to happen. Okay, we'll head out there right now. Here, take these with you. Uh, guild referral. This document certifies that you were dispatched by the guild. Please give it to the owner of the farm. We already know Tio's father pretty well, so I don't think this is necessary. But we'll take it just in case. But before we do that, we are actually going to take on the Milsh Road Monster instead. That's the second mission if you open up your Bracer Notebook. Go to the Rollout Missions. And do the Milsh Road Monster. In fact, yeah, let's hand in the... Almost forgot to report the uh, Finally Shiny Rock quest. And for that you get 30 Mira and 2 Brace Points. Uh, still rank 9, but don't worry about that. Good work. It seems like you completed your objective without any trouble. If you finish any other jobs, please come back and report again. So, it the pay does get a lot better. 30 Mira is just a kid that's six years old and is probably using a month's worth of pocket money. So for the Milsh Road monster, what you want to do is just follow the path down. In terms of the monsters that are on Milsh Road, I'm going to go through those in the next episode when we have to go through here anyway for Purzel Farm. So don't worry about that. So just you want to keep going down, keep going down. And it's the third screen. There's three screens to Milsh Road and we want the third one. Keep going, keep going. And eventually you'll see it. It's there. Now before we take this guy on, what we want to do is actually change our battle positions. We want to put Estelle and Joshua further back. You don't have to put them right back, but just further back. And, and, you'll, and you'll see why. And this is the first optional boss of the game. And unlike a lot of bosses uh, that you'll get in RPGs, the optional bosses, the monsters, the extermination requests and you can actually run away from so just bear that in mind if you are struggling just run away from it 
Now, the Prime Plant has 500 health, but he's super weak uh, to fire. And we also have our CP gauge fully maxed with Joshua, so we're going to use Sever. And we'll knock him out. And the reason why we want to be further back. Oh, he's not dead. He's not dead. Wow. Uh, two hit points. Sure, I'll just use a craft then. Uh, yeah. Let, let's not risk anything. So yeah, the reason why I want to be so far back is because the Pine Plant self-destructs and if you're in the vicinity, you will get hit for a lot of damage. But we won. So nice and easy. 15, some a fair amount of Sepith. And there we go. And you'll get this notification, exterminated monster on Milsh Main Road, like so. So I'll see you back at the Bracer Guild. So here we are at the Bracer Guild. We're just going to report to Ina for the Milsh Road monster. And you'll receive three brace points and 600 mirror. That's a lot more like it. Fantastic. And you'll advance to Junior Bracer 8 class, which gets you Information Quartz as a perk. Uh, so you'll be able to perceive enemy status. This is really good. Uh, and then, yes, she always says that, so I'm not going to voice that. Information Quartz is really good if I show you very quickly Augment Stell. We're not going to put it on just yet, but yeah, be able to perceive enemy status. And that's really good for... Um, just, it's basically Libra in Final Fantasy. Uh, it gives you more detailed information. Um, for example, if an enemy, what exactly an enemy does and whether it's weak to any status ailments. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to find some new monsters. And I think it's in the next screen along. But yeah, this is the way to Perzal Farm down here as you can see uh okay oh well accidentally got surprise attacked but there is a new monster if i can just find it there it is now it does bull rush you so it's very difficult to get a preemptive strike but here we go red insectos 200 hit points weak to a lot of basically all elemental magic so just bear that in mind so i'm just going to go ahead and do that and I'm just going to use physical attacks, I think. Uh, they do hit hard, but I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue. Uh, yeah, let's, let's go. Let's focus all our attacks on one. Could have used a craft there, actually. Oh, never mind. And we've got a crit on the stell coming up. So, yeah, let's use a cry. Let's use dual strike on this. Hopefully, it doesn't miss. Didn't jinx it. Hopefully, this doesn't miss either. There we go. So, yeah, that, as far as I'm aware, is the only new monster uh, that's not in a chest. And we'll get to the monster that's in a chest another time because that chest is ridiculously hard. So there are a couple of chests here. Uh, we just need to find them. So the first one is here. You'll get a tear balm. And then the next one, there's another bull rush. Moving on. So the next one we're after, if we look at the map, see where the uh, junction is? It's directly north of that. So if we go back onto the path briefly, uh, we'll, to, we'll avoid that monster. Uh, yeah, it's here. And you will find another tear bomb. Because what's better than one tear bomb? Two tear bombs. And then in the northwestern area here, there's another chest. We've just got to find it. It's. There's another bulrush. And the final chest is down here. Now, it's in the southwestern area, and you might have to rotate your camera a bit to see it, but there you will find another tear bomb. So that's all the chests on the Milsh main road. If you want to get to Purzel Farm, 
it's just down here. But we'll leave that for the next episode. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. I've been JB. This has been the Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. And I will see you in the next one.